What I'm going to do now is talk about chocolate and where it comes from and give you much more of a better insight when choosing the product. This is a cocoa pod. Within the cocoa pod, we get the cocoa bean. Once the cocoa bean has been processed, we finish it with cocoa mass and cocoa butter. The type and quantity of the cocoa butter is the main factor that determines the quality of the chocolate. At the top end of the range, we have chocolates with a high proportion of cocoa butter. These are called covertures. At the bottom of the range, we have coatings. These are products that have had some or all of the cocoa butter being replaced by other fats. Within the Keelant brochure, there's a guide that tells you what each chocolate can be used for. Chocolate comes in two forms, either in the block form or in the calette form. The calette form is very convenient for melting purposes. The block form needs to be broken up or shaven down prior to use. Most chocolates come in chip form. Some chocolates, however, like the organic and speciality types of chocolates, still come in block form. When it comes to tempering, standard grades within one brand will usually have the same tempering characteristics. With speciality chocolates, when tempering, you need to take a little more care due to the fact of varying amounts of cocoa butter within the product. When it comes to tasting chocolate, people think it's the amount of cocoa mass that determines the quality of the chocolate. This isn't true. There are a number of other factors that determine the quality of chocolate, and at the end of the day, it comes down to personal taste. 